Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I build a watch using the NH39 movement. This movement has an open heart like the NH38 and a 24-hour hand like the NH37. I thought it'll be interesting to build a watch have these two complications. Now the dial options on AliExpress are not much, but I managed to find one. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a sterile dial without a logo. However, this dial I chose is good having a beautiful complex look to it. This dial has only two dial feet, which need to be aligned with these two slots on the movement. Carefully place the dial on the movement, aligning both the dial feet, and press to fit the dial firmly on the movement, press near both the dial feet. I decided to first attach the 24-hour hand, place the hand gently, and insert it using the hand tool. Check if the hand moves freely, and carefully move the hand to the 24-hour mark as closely as possible. This will be the midnight hand position, and we can attach the other hands accordingly. Now let's move on to the hour hand. Carefully position the hand close to the 12-hour mark. and press the hand in place using the hand tool. Check if both the hands move freely without interfering with each other or the dial. Next, the minutes hand. Ensure that the other two hands attached previously are in the midnight position and place the minutes hand at the 12 hour mark. Once aligned, Press firmly using the hand tool. Check if all the three hands move without interference. Now we can attach the last hand, which is the seconds hand. Carefully align the hand and press using the hand tool. Check all the hand movement one last time. After that, we can start with the watch case. I'm using a two-tone gold and silver diver style case for today's build. Remove the case back and remove the crown. Remove the dummy stem that the movement is shipped with and place the movement on a cushion. Gently place the case front on the movement. Align the crown position with the three o'clock mark on the dial. Flip the watch upside down carefully. Attach the crown to a new stem and insert it into the movement. Usually the movement is shipped with a new stem, but you can order them separately as well. Measure the excess of the stem that needs to be cut. Remove the stem and unscrew the crown. Ensure to cut the stem at the threaded side. This is the side where you screw in the crown. Do not cut the stem from the side which goes inside the movement. Cut the stem less than required, leaving the stem just so slightly longer. And then file it down to the desired length. Attach the crown back onto the stem and insert it into the movement. If the length of the stem is right, the crown will screw into the case properly to give it the water resistance. Carefully place the rubber seal.
Now place the case back and screw it close. I prefer using the rubber ball to close it tight. It's looking good. Let's attach the bezel now. Remove the double-sided tape. Carefully align the bezel and push to fit firmly. I really love how this watch turned out. The open heart view and the 24-hour hand give it a very complex look. I attached a random strap lying at home. Not really sure how it would look. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below on what strap or bracelet you think would look good on this watch. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.